my lab here at Incrediworld. It's me, Dr. Mister, and today's experiment is called Cool Design. For this experiment, here are the supplies that you will need. A ruler, some disposable gloves, a bowl of brrr, ice water, and a container of vegetable shortening. Mm. Smells delicious. Okay, now, do, do you agree that we have an incredible God? Today, we are going to be talking about the amazing design details that God has given to everything and everyone he created. For instance, how do animals like seals and walruses and dolphins and whales how do they stay warm in cold water? Hmm, well, God, of course, gave them cool design features to keep them warm. Do this, pinch your skin, not too hard, just pinch it a little bit. Now, our skin, it is not nearly as thick as the skin that God gave those animals that live in icy waters. Yes, he gave them a very thick layer of skin or fat, which helps them to stay warm. This special layer of fat is called blubber. Isn't that a fun word to say? Say it with me, blubber. Yes, blubber. So blubber is a thick layer of fatty tissue that acts as a heat insulator and stores energy. An insulator keeps heat from moving from one place to another place. In the case of these animals, the fatty tissue or blubber keeps the heat from moving inside of their bodies to the outside of their bodies. So that is why they do not feel the cold of the icy water. Also, the blood vessels inside the fatty tissue, well, they are very tiny, very small, and that reduces the amount of blood flow and it helps reduce the amount of energy that is needed to keep their bodies warm. Isn't God amazing? So, animal blubber, it covers the entire body of these special animals, except for their fins and flippers, okay? Blubber is one of the main reasons why these animals can stay warm and survive from year to year in the icy temperature. So now we are going to do our experiment to see how this layer of blubber or this layer of fat can be used as a good insulator of heat. Step one, put one glove on one hand. You pick whatever hand you want. You may need some help with this. Then you're going to take one finger, and when I say go, put it down into the icy water. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Now, I'm going to put up a one minute timer, and you hold your finger in the icy water for one minute. Here we go. Ding! Now, remove your finger. And on a scale from one to 10, one being, oh, I hardly felt anything at all, and 10 being, 
Oh, I think my finger is so cold, it's going to fall off. How would you rate how cold your finger is right now? You go ahead and just let everybody know on a scale from one to 10. Now we're ready for step two of our experiment. Put the glove on your other hand. Now this time, we are going to cover the finger that we are going to put in the water with the vegetable shortening. So I'm going to reach down in there. I'm going to get lots of vegetable shortening and place it all around my finger. I need a little bit more because we want to have a very thick layer of a vegetable shortening all around our finger. Make sure you get every bit of your finger covered that's going to go under the water with that thick layer of vegetable shortening. You can even measure to make sure it's at least a quarter of an inch thick, maybe up to a half an inch thick. And then we're going to put the timer back up and you're going to put this finger down into the water. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Under the same scale from one to 10, how would you say this finger feels and how cold did it get? Was it warmer than the finger that did not have the vegetable shortening? Hmm, that's a very interesting question. Now, let me show you how to take your gloves off so that you don't make a huge mess. Take your finger and thumb and place it under the back of the glove and we're going to pull the glove inside out and the shortening goes inside the glove inside out and we can throw it away in the trash you can do the same with the other hand pinch it and pull the glove inside out and throw it away in the trash not to make a giant mess all over the house good job okay now let me tell you some of the ingredients in the vegetable shortening it has palm oil and soybean oil. Now those oils are actually fats. Does that sound familiar? Yes, both blubber on those amazing animals God created and the vegetable shortening, both are made of fat. Yes, that is why the finger covered in vegetable shortening did not feel as cold as the finger that did not have it on there. You understand now that God created all of these animals with the special ability to survive in the extreme cold. Isn't God amazing? And when we think of all these animals, let's just remember, it couldn't just have happened. God made them that way. <laughs>